NBC4 News at 5 starts now. And a potential medical breakthrough at UCLA. Scientists have found a way to stop cancer from spreading using stem cells. NBC4's Dr. Bruce Hensel visited the lab. He joins us right now with this exclusive story. And Bruce, is this all kinds of cancers? Well, that's what we hope. We're going to find out in this study that's starting, Colleen. Now, stem cells are usually studied for potential to cure disease by stimulating growth or replacing disease cell. Now, cells. Now, this research actually looks at blocking bad stem cells that may lead to fatal cancer. If it works, it could save many lives. These are stem cells, so-called because they're the most immature cells, taken from a baby's umbilical cord or a bone marrow or even from an embryo. They're so young, they may be able to mature into cells that cure many diseases. At UCLA Special Stem Cell Laboratory, scientists have received a grant to see if different types of stem cells can be blocked so that a cancer can be controlled, even cured. Within uh, cancers, there are stem cells that promote the growth of additional cancer cells. That that discovery led to research on a unique drug that worked on the cancerous stem cells. The drug actually blocks the enzyme activity uh, of uh, an enzyme that's critical in cell division. In the lab and in animals, the result, tumors were contained and prevented from spreading. The next step, trials in humans to see if the drug works the same way on them as it did in the lab and to see what the effect on cancer is. Dr. Dennis Slayman and Zev Weinberg of UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center say the grant from the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine will allow them to start those trials as early as April. This treatment will be used for patients that uh, we believe have colorectal cancer, breast cancer, and possibly uh, some forms of brain cancer. The way you'll know if the treatment has worked is you will see responses in the tumors, that is shrinkage of the tumor, and a control of the growth over time so that you don't see progression of the tumor. The hope is that will lead to a cure for some people and control of cancer in others in ways that have fewer side effects than conventional treatments. Now, Dr. Slayman and Weinberg tell me the study will also help them determine which cancers and which patients the treatment is best for. Now, we will report again on this as soon as the study is ready to begin, so stay tuned. Chuck, back to you. Thanks, Dr. Bruce.